on Divorce Court today. Sex, lies, and social media. Joshua claims Christian can't tell the truth and won't stop posting provocative selfies online. She says he's the one with secrets to hide, including the fact that he's still married to somebody else. Joshua Johnson and Christian Warren have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toller to resolve. Testimony in Divorce Court starts now. Mr. Johnson and Ms. Warren, you two have been together for a while. Mr. Johnson, you say Ms. Warren is a compulsive liar. Correct. She says that you're the compulsive liar uh, as evidenced by the fact that you never told her you were married. She is now 14 weeks pregnant with your child and uh, it, her ultimatum is if you don't divorce your wife, she wants you to pay her some money to help with that child. Mr. Johnson, why don't you tell me why you believe Ms. Warren is a compulsive liar? There was one incident she told me that she was going to the store to um, pick up some stuff for the morning, you know? So after some hours, I actually called her back. She never picked up or anything like that. Mm -hmm. She came in at 6 o'clock the next morning with, I don't know where you get a full pack of eggs da, from. Da, 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 da. And you know what I'm saying? She come in with some eggs and mm -hmm. some, some breakfast fast food. And I'm like, where you, where you been at? Why you ain't answer the phone? Why you ain't call me? She talking about, uh, she act like ain't nothing going on. Then she finally tell me that she went out with her friends. So I feel like actually it's easier for her to actually tell a lie than to be truthful with me. And that's all mm -hmm. I'm asking for is her to be truthful with me. Were you truthful about uh, the, pre the existence of your wife? I mean, no, I didn't, I didn't bring it up in the beginning because I knew it was irrelevant. Don't you think that's more important than eggs? <laughs> yeah. How long were you together before you told her that you were married to someone else? Um, I mean, we was definitely deep into the relationship. I'm thinking probably about six months. Six months in a relationship before you mentioned it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Warren, when you found that out, why didn't you roll? When I found it out, um, we had, you know, already established chemistry. Um, you were in love. I loved him. You were in love. I did. Did you tell him, tell him to, to, to get a divorce or you, you weren't going to be around anymore? Yes. Do you ever intend on divorcing your wife? I fully intend on divorcing my wife. You haven't done anything about it yet, though? Uh, no, ma'am. It's hard to contact her, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm taking all the necessary steps to get that contact. Okay, so, so it's one of these where you don't know where she is and... I don't know where she okay. is. Okay. Why don't you tell me some other instances that have occurred that make you believe Ms. Warren is a compulsive liar? Um, there's, um, there, was, there was a time that she told me she was going over to her mother's house to help her clean. Mm -hmm. So when she left, I called and I asked the mother, you know, so has she seen her? She said she hasn't seen her all day. I called Christian's phone, and she said, I hear music and, you know what I'm saying, conversation in the background. So I'm asking her, like, where's she at? She's like, oh, I'm at my mama's house. I'm cleaning. That's the TV you hear in the background. So after I hung up with her, I called a friend and hear the same audio in the background. So she acting, she acting totally shocked and surprised when I get on the phone and then try to make me believe that she just, oh, I just got over here five minutes ago. How is that possible? Does that Now, even... I know Ms. Warren did that, because I see the look on her face. Were you lying to him about where you were going? Yes. Why? I lied to him because he, he's stressful. He always wants to complain. He complains about everything. He starts arguments about everything. Well, how many times a week do you say you get into, like, loud, com combustive arguments? Every day. Every day. Really? Every day. What do you argue about? Um, actually, like, the, the basics. How you doing today, Christian? She just hush mouth, don't say nothing. Like, she kicking attitude just to make me feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. It's always the little stuff. She doesn't respond when I ask her stuff. She doesn't, I mean, it's like she doesn't respect me. Tell me about the social media. Are you on there and are you not fully clothed? I am fully clothed. Well, what um, are you doing? What am I doing? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, it's just selfies. Okay. What Pose kind of selfies? Pose for the frame. Huh? Pose for the frame. Pose for frame? Yeah, pose for frame. I don't know what that means. You know, pose for frame? Like... No? No. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Click, click, click. Uh, is that all it is? Um, no. No. But I... tell me the worst pose for frame she posted. Um, yeah, probably a regular selfie with a low-cut shirt. 
and everything. I probably know the um, she got a, a towel wrapped around just the top, you know, so just mm -hmm. the top half, and you, right. you can see all the clean. That's all, that's how she gonna leave out the bathroom when she get ready in the mm -hmm. morning. She's not gonna respond when I'm knocking on the door. She's gonna be in there beautifying herself. And when she comes out, she walking out with all the clean hanging out. Tell me she finna go to work. Is that what you do? I mean, not intentionally. I mean, they are huge, but you know, I. But do, 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 do you have a lot of cleavage on the, on the, on the social network? Is there a lot of, lot of boobage going on? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. What's, what's... I'm gonna move on. <laughs> uh, you say he's a liar and a cheater. Why don't you explain that, why you feel that oh, way? Oh, yeah. Well, this past Easter Sunday, you know, I go to church. And we were going to church. And, you know, the day before Easter, bought him a nice white, all white suit. You know, he was looking like an angel. You know, he was supposed to be my angel. So, anyhow, um, I dropped him off at a family member's house, one of his family members' house. So I'm calling him, it's time to go to church. He's not answering the phone. So I get in my car, I drive over there, and five houses down from the house where I dropped him off, where his family member stays, I see him and I see another woman. And he gets out the car and guess what he got on that I bought? The white suit. The white suit. There was your angel with another woman. Yes. And you were hot. Yes, I was hot. I paid over $800 for that suit. You bought him an $800 suit? Yes, I did. Why? Because I wanted him to look nice, fresh, you know, feel good. You know, I feel good when he feels good, you know? And I bet you were really angry when you got over there. Oh, my goodness. And I understand I her anger is an issue. Next, how did a stray selfie in Joshua's email cause Christian to egg her own house? Is a third wheel causing problems in your relationship? Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Couples in Crisis, Real Resolution. Divorce Court continues. You say Ms. Warren's temper is out of control. Why don't you give me a couple of circumstances that would demonstrate that to me? Okay, there was one incident where um, a, a woman sent me some pictures of her breast to the phone mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Chris immediately grabbed the phone when it went mm -hmm. off and started calling the girl, cussing out. Now, the girl is telling her that she has sent the wrong picture to, you know what I'm saying, the picture to the wrong number. Kristen, she doesn't care about that. She's already mad. She's already went past her point because she's quick to take off like that. Mm -hmm. She don't think past situations. She's just usually just act. Mm -hmm. So I t I'm telling her, you know what I'm saying, Connor, she doesn't care about that. We um, end up, it ended up being, she ended up getting mad at me and start throwing eggs on the outside of our apartment, which was stupid because we had to clean it up anyway. So she got up. Went into the kitchen, got some eggs, went outside Look, and started throwing eggs at the apartment. When I when I was already mad, when I seen her doing it, you know, I didn't even do it. I just looked at it and just walked. I just walked off. I just I gave up then. I was through it. I was through with it. I ain't no I mean when she get mad, ain't no talking to her. Did you do that? Yes, I did. Give me another example. Proud. I'm talking about not just I'm talking about really like having fun with it, yeah. like throwing in the air and trying to really throw the eggs. But like, I believe you, Mr. Like Johnson. Really give me fun. another example. Um, okay. I thought, we're going through all of this. I figured, okay, let's just go out somewhere. Let's go have a vacation or something. So uh, we go, you know, we go out of town, and when we pull up at the room, you know, she jumps out to get the key and everything. And while she's gone, a young lady approaches me, asks me for a lighter. So I give her the light, we make a small talk. Two seconds later, Chris would come burn around the corner, skirt, pull up, jump out. She's snatching off her clothes, yelling, cussing, earrings, everything. Oh, yeah, getting she's out of shoes, all, she's taking, taking the earrings off. off. She's taking everything off. She didn't off. have any Vaseline, did she? See, I'm telling you, she went up through the, right? So I'm telling her, I'm like, look, the lady, she just wanted a light. She just wanted a light, Christian. She don't care about that. She's still cussing, going ham. The police, I mean, the um, hotel security had to come walk us out. And I'm embarrassed mm -hmm. because, you know, she's sitting out there half naked 
You know, and you know, so I told her to put her clothes back on and get a butt in the car. <laughs> get her put your clothes on. I mean, that's what she does every day. She did, just did you go out there ready to day. ready to fight a woman that he only gave a light to? I did. So you think it's worth it to go out there and egg the apartment building and take off half your clothes to whoop on somebody so he'll behave better? Batter up. You Mr. See, you, you, Mr. Johnson, are there, I understand there was some circumstance with some clothes. Could you tell me about that? I was work, I was working, <laughs> I was working at a, um, a restaurant, you know, and I'm on my lunch period. I'm on mm -hmm. my lunch break with a coworker at the job. So I'm hearing cussing, screaming, you know. So I'm I'm walking, laughing it off, looking until I realize I'm getting close to the items, and I realize that it's some items on the ground, and I notice that they look familiar. They're my items. So I hear Christian, and that's when I know that, you know, as soon as she see me, she bags the car, run over the items, you know what I'm saying, drive for it again, drives over it again, and ride past me going extra slow, shoot me the bird. I'm trying to go out there and get my clothes up. She got me fired from my job. My um, boss didn't want to understand any of that was going on. You know what I'm saying? She think it's games and just fun, and it's costing me more than what you, you know what I'm saying, more than what you, what you putting up. Did you lose his job for him by cutting up like that? Uh, he found another one. But you did lose his job. Uh huh. When divorce court continues, what comes at the end of a 16 hour shift? For Christian, is that cooking dinner and cleaning up? Do you believe that if Christian stopped making up stories, Joshua would stay with her? Call 1 800 282 1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Mrs. Warren, I've been on for on you for a while, so let's let I want to I want to talk about your complaints. You say that he's unappreciative, that you work long sixteen-hour yes. shifts and still have to come home and make dinner. Tell me about that. Yes, that's right. Um, I work sixteen hours. Doing um, what do you do? Security. Okay. Yes. So I patrol the property. Well, they got the right woman because you ready to throw down. <laughs> that's right. Take the earrings yeah. off. You get, get in there. Go ahead. I'll come home. He's on the game, playing PlayStation. So I'll go in, okay, I'm gonna cook. You know, obviously I see nothing has been made. So I go, I cook. And you know, after that, I'm just completely exhausted. So I fall asleep. And he's standing over me like, aren't you gonna do the dishes? I'm like, are you serious? Mr. Johnson, does she come home from a 16 hour shift? You expect her to cook and, and do the dishes uh, while you play? Um, no, I don't. Christian's 16 hour shift, she had that job for about three days, okay? She had a job about three days, so I don't know what she talking about. Y'all can take that. How long did you to. have the job? How long you had the job? Ms. Warren, how long did you have the job? Hang on. I've been on the job for about seven months. Okay. All right. And, did, and has she been doing that job for seven months? I mean, two days and seven months is a big difference. Why are you not telling the truth? No more than two weeks, Your Honor. No more than two weeks. No more than two weeks, Your well, Honor. Well, let me ask you this. You both tend to have jobs. You both stay employed. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's accurate, yeah. Do you, as she contributes to the economics of the home, do you contribute to the care of the home? Oh, of course I do. I, yeah, that, that's how we got it worked out. Okay, so what do you do around the house? I clean up, I handle all of that when she's not there, because I know, I understand what position she's in, she's mm -hmm. at work. And when I'm, when I'm at work, she does the same thing. Christian problem is that she has a problem sticking to a structure. You know, she's easily sidetracked and she doesn't mind letting her emotions take over. What do you mean by that? Give me an example. I mean, if we come up with, okay, she, she's working those types of hours and I'm off on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? Just a, a simple structure to get, to make everything run more smooth and be convenient for both of us. Oh, so she just kind of doesn't have it together. She, no, she so like the renegade. She can't she get like it she together. Won't. She like to do so what she wants. She like to do is, what she wants. Is that accurate, Ms. Warren? You kind of just don't have it together? <laughs> I pay the bills. <laughs> well, he pays bills as well, does he not? <laughs> no. That's a lie. He does contribute to the household, does That's he not, Ms. Warren? I clean up no. more than you. You know what I'm no. saying? I clean up no. way more than you. You clean up? 
Yes, way more than me. Way more than you. Okay, so why are you complaining at me for? Well, well Miss Warren, let me ask you this. I clean up my Hey, 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 we could do this all day, Miss Miss Warren. I'm gonna go on to you. Say he doesn't treat you like. You're his girl anymore, that, that he's, uh, he's not romantic. Tell me what you mean by that. Okay. He's not romantic. And he's not, he's, he, just, he just lost it all. And that, that uh, it leads to disrespect, okay? He's more disrespectful than anything. In what ways is he disrespectful? Okay, so say we have an argument and he gets mad, he wants to play this certain song. <laughs> what, what kind of song does he play to try to lose a point? To, to Tell him. Point. Okay, well, it says something about bust her lip, broke her leg. Mr. Johnson, when you get mad at her, do you, do you, you play a rap song that's talk about abusing women? I don't know about her talking about me sending her messages through songs. I mean, maybe I should try that. Maybe I can get, you know, say a little bit more from you. But what I got to do? Start making sticky notes or something, sticking on your forehead or something. You know what? Play that song again. That's hey, 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 Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. I read the paperwork that you guys give me, and sometimes I read it three, four times just to make sure I got it right. You said this, Ms. Warren. Mm -hmm. I have gone to hell and back with Joss, and I only did all of that because I love him. Joss thinks this relationship is a game, but the game changed once I got pregnant with his child. He's disrespecting me, cheating on me, and not being serious about divorcing his wife. That has me halfway out the door. He's married. You say that he doesn't cook or clean. You say that, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm just just going by, by her claims. And you say judge. he don't cook or clean. He doesn't pay any bills. He's married. He's disrespectful. He cheats on you. Why are you only halfway out the door? <laughs> okay. Well, basically, I mean, I love him. He was a good person in the beginning, but. When I, once I caught him cheating and lying and I found out about the wife, that's when my whole attitude changed. Are you done? Am I done? With her. I mean, I just want to solve a problem. Whatever it, whatever it takes, I just want to get to an ultimate solution for both of us to, you know what I'm saying, at least go out to the race, be happy, whatever it takes. Let me see if I can help you. I'm going to see if I can help. I'm going to turn my back to you for a minute. Now, Ms. Warren, you're the author of your own demise over here. That anger that you demonstrate, that's, a, that's an act of a person who's fearful, and you're fearful because you're in a circumstance that you're not safe in, and you're in a circumstance that you're not safe in because you chose to stay with a man that you know that is married and then get pregnant with him. You're putting yourself out there and in such an insecure spot that it would make you angry to the very thought of him doing the wrong thing because you are so exposed, you are, you, you are so fragile that that anger's gonna pop up. What you need to do is work on you. What you need to do is make sure that you're strong and capable and able. Right now, more education, whatever you need to do, become a strong and stable woman. Once that happens, the fear of him just ghosting or disappearing, you know, it'll hurt you. Listen. I have been left by more men just because well, I was never willing to compromise. Oh, you want to go to that movie? Oh, I don't. I'll be, you're fired. I'm not going out <laughs> with you anymore. That's you know, I mean, but, but the reason I was able to do that is because I didn't need them for anything. Wanted them, but didn't need them. You're, you're insecure and you're unsafe, and the very thought of him doing something wrong sends you into orbit. And that's no way to live, that fearful, stressful, always looking for the end of the relationship because it's going to kill you. The end of a relationship, to me, was just an opportunity to get another guy. I think you're going to go home with him, aren't you? Well, I really don't know. So I, I will say this. Um, ooh, you made her pregnant. And you got to take care of your responsibilities. Are you going to do that? Of course I am. Yeah, OK. Well, um, he, she's not leaving, so why waste my breath? There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered.
Joshua and Christian appreciate the judge's ruling, and Joshua vows to take care of his responsibilities as a parent. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll-free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.